Hello there, friends. Hello there, journalers and crafters and painters and artists and crafters of all kinds. Welcome to my video. Today I am featuring my artisan journal. This is for hashtag artisan journal prompt 2024, which is hosted by Patty over at Life with Patty. As I said, artisan journal prompt 2024 and we are in week 35 and 36 so tomorrow will be week 37 um i will be showing you my entry into movie cinemax and yarn and before i spin my yarn um i will show you this my mother cro uh i guess this is crocheted these bookmarks for me years ago and so that ties in with yarn but um here is my take on movie slash cinemax um harry potter is a fun series of books i i read way back when probably 15 something years ago when my son was young uh, we started reading the sorcerer's stone uh, based on the Harry Potter series. So I had this, this is a cover sheet from a pack of paper. I had a bunch of cinema stickers and you can't go to the movies without getting dots, right? And sweet and sour candies, remember sweet tarts? Um, and popcorn, of course, but I couldn't find any popcorn stickers. So, and I made a tag uh, um, advertising Twisters and Despicable Me 4 at a movie theater north of me. This is um, camera paper that I got from my niece Lene in a pocket letter last year. And I put together just a cute little tag with some of the Harry Potter paper. If you know the series, you know um, nine and three quarters. That's the train stop. <clears throat> Anyway, then um, another movie that I love is Wizard of Oz. So I made this ATC as well. And then here, um, Alice in Wonderland and uh, uh, more Wizard of Oz stickers. And I loved the um, reference to... Oh, there's popcorn right there. <laughs> and the cinema tickets. And I remember going to the city theater in where I grew up in northern Michigan and the theater was called the pick and we would go on Saturday mornings and oh, I just looked forward to going to the theater that was so fun to watch um, I think I remember Casper the friendly ghost and um, Lassie but anyway our tickets were only five cents each so that that was uh, a great memory and then on to yarn yarn a continuous, often plied strand composed of either natural or man-made fibers or filaments and used in weaving and knitting to form cloth. A similar strand of another material, such as metal, glass, or plastic. Yarn can be made from a variety of materials, including natural and synthetic synthetic fibers or a blend of the two natural fibers. These include wool, silk, cotton, and linen. Wool is a strong warm fiber that comes from sheep, while sil silk is a protein fiber that comes from the larva of the moth, Bombyx mori. Cotton is a common plant fiber that is often spun into fine yards for knitting or weaving. Synthetic fibers, these include acrylic, nylon, and polyester. This is a sweatshirt I bought myself recently from Timu. It's a hoodie um, and it has a, the drawstring and the front pouch pocket. This is acrylic. This is polyester, actually. This is probably plastic. Um, but it was only $4 for this hoodie, and I will share that another day. <laughs> anyway, um, so the process of making yarn is called spinning, which involves twisting the material into a long, continuous strand. However, once upon a time, a ball of yarn rolled around and around and around, spinning and unspinning. 
spinning and batted about by four padded paws. Not Zen Tangle, but Kitten Tangle. So a yarn is also exactly like the little story I just told you. From the idiom, spin a yarn to tell a tale. A narrative of adventures, especially a tall tale. A roaring good story. Usually a long one with a lot of excitement and interest. She knew how to spin a good yarn equals tell a good story. The process of making yarn is called spinning, which involves twisting the material into a long, continuous strand. A kitten who lost its mitten. The process of unmaking yarn is called spinning, which involves twisting the material into a long, continuous, knotted strand, such as by a kitten. The kitten who lost its mitten. I hope you enjoyed my story. Thank you. Bye-bye.